Amsterdam is one of the most exciting cities in Europe with its beautiful canals and rich history. There's so much to do in the Dutch capital that we've made a list of our favorites for the perfect weekend in Amsterdam. So let's go. Okay, so if you love avocados, this is the place. The Avocado Show is an Amsterdam concept that serves beautiful dishes with organic, sustainable avocados. So order a few dishes, get yourself a drink, spice up your Instagram feed, and then enjoy the feast. I'm gonna start with this one. This is uh, pretty much the most picturesque poke bowl that you're ever gonna see. So on the bottom is some rice. You've got your salmon and avocado. Mmm, it's pretty fresh and light. So these are avocado halves with cumin and paprika. There's some sesame seeds and then that hummus and some edible flowers in the middle. Mmm, it's really nice and creamy spread on the bagel. Okay, I don't even know how to tackle this bad boy. This is the burger. So it's pretty much an avocado bun with your beef burger and your bacon. It tastes like a burger. Maybe a little bit healthier, but I'm a bit of a fan of that hummus and avocado combo. Avocado is superior to cream cheese on a bagel. One more bite of this one, and then on to the next place. So if you're into shopping, it's definitely worth checking out the famous area of Negenstraat, also known as Nine Streets. It's an area full of cool little boutiques that sell funky souvenirs, designer clothes, and some of the best pre-loved buys in Amsterdam. So it's a shopping paradise. Two of our favorites are Closed, which sells some nice contemporary designer clothing, and then there is Bayonce, which is one of the best spots to go if you want some great pre-loved clothing. But there are loads of shops, so be sure to explore. When you're here, you definitely want to bike down to Albuquerque Market for some old school Dutch shopping and market culture. The stalls here sell loads of different goods like clothing and toys, but we like to come to Albuquerque for the Dutch food. So let's go try some. And when you're at the market, you have to try a strop waffle. It's basically two thin wafers sandwiched together with some caramel in the middle. Here they make it fresh so the caramel is warm, which makes it perfect for a cold day. Warm, gooey, crunchy deliciousness. Hi, right, can we get one portion with the butter and sugar? Sure. So these are puffer cheese, which are like a Dutch mini pancake. You can get them all over town with loads of different toppings, but the Dutch like to keep it simple with a bit of powdered sugar and a big slab of butter. Sweet, fluffy, delicious. Now this is a little bit more adventurous, but I promise you if you like fish, you're gonna like this. This is Dutch style pickled herring. So it's raw herring, pickled, chopped up. They put some onions over it and they've got pickle on the side. Mm. Nice and fresh. Now, bitterballen are a Dutch snack staple. You can find these deep-fried beef balls on the menus of most bars around town, but Bar Bitterball actually specializes in the drinking snack. But they have 25 different kinds that help change up the traditional beef flavors. We're gonna try a few of them today. So we're gonna start with the classic veal, and this normally comes with a mustard dip. Super creamy veal ragu. The acidic mustard cuts through that. Goes perfect with a beer. Next up, we got chorizo. I've never even seen that combination before, but I'm a big fan of chorizo. Mm. This is probably closer to the more traditional Spanish croquette. There's little bits of chorizo, maybe some cheese flavor in there. Still pretty good drinking food. Now, I recommended I try these ones as well because they're a little bit different. Thai coconut bitter ball. Definitely pretty different. It's like a mild Thai curry flavor, and then the chili gives it a bit of a kick. Pretty tasty. I'm always a big fan of the classics, but as a chorizo fan, I think these are actually my pick. So 
So Dutch boat canal tours are super popular, but we prefer to explore the canals ourselves. You can head to Melkenbolt where you can hire an electric boat by the hour, grab a map or just get lost in the canals and enjoy seeing Amsterdam from a completely different perspective. has a colonial past, right? And the culture and cuisines of these former colonies have had a massive impact on the Dutch restaurant and bar scene, which is especially true of this place, Watercut, which is named after the nightlife district of former South American colony Suriname. Now here, you want to try the traditional Surinamese pavo beer and get into the food here, which is kind of like a mix of Indian, Indonesian, and Chinese food, but it's traditionally Surinamese food. This is a roti, which is rolled up with chicken in it, and it comes with like a bit of a curry dipping sauce. And this is bakabana, which is literally deep fried banana, and that comes with its own spicy peanut sauce. So I'm gonna start with the roti. That is packed with a whole bunch of different things. I think it's got chicken, potato, some green beans, and that curry sauce and some other spices going on. It's pretty tasty. So let's try the bakabana. I've never seen uh, banana with chopped up chili on it before, but it sounds like an interesting combo. Oh wow, that's a pretty good drinking snack. It's kind of like sweet with the banana, plenty of crunch with the batter. It's very Moorish. A lot of foreigners probably don't even know what Surinamese food is, but in Holland, the Dutch absolutely love it, so it's definitely worth a try. So there you have it, some of our favorite experiences in Amsterdam. Did we miss any of your favorites? Let us know in the comments.